really, really big numbers today. So I've restarted again and again and again until we found a legendary upgrade. One more choice for each upgrade and object selection. That means more and better quality upgrades every choice moving forward. Next, we're going to take 75% more critical damage. We also have 15% more knife-wielding morons for 15% more knife-wielding experience. And we're quickly shaping up to have a critical damage run. Crits deal 75% more damage. We will eventually have probably 100% crit damage. We're probably going to have 100% crit chance by the end of this. So we're going to raise our AoE by a further 30% as well because those can all stack together later. And then cooldowns and abilities are going to be reduced by 15%. That's a big one to begin with because that's a true blue 15%. 15% 15 extra enemies is going to be a little bit annoying for a minute, but then we're going to get so much extra experience, we're not even going to notice. Okay, we're going to further reduce the cooldown or dashes and abilities, because we know how powerful that can get. Our hook-handed hero is almost dead, so we're going to get something absolutely amazing out of his chest. When your projectiles should be destroyed, their damage is reduced by 50% and they pierce instead. So now we're going to get a little bit of penetration, so when it comes to hordes of morons, we're going to penetrate multiples. Okay, we're going to increase our AoE by another 30%, our AoE is going to get really, really big. So between the AoE and the quicker cooldown, we're setting up for some really cool abilities. But we're also going to increase our crit chance by a cool 7%, that puts us up to 12% in total. And we got a legendary damage upgrade, that's going to take us straight from 50 to 80 damage, that's an over 50% increase. And of course the uh, criticals multiply on top of that, so the higher our crit damage goes, the bigger our damage multiplies. Now we're going to do damage again for 110 damage total. So in the past 20 seconds our damage over doubled. I really hope that rate continues because that's fantastic. We just melted that boss suddenly. Okay this time we're going to take more attack speed. We're firing 1.8 per second. We're now firing 2.25 per second. That's just going to help thin out this horde of morons for a second. Then out of idiot's box we're going to take this. Projectiles move between 30 and 70 percent faster. So they're just going to rock it out of there and get to where they're going quicker. I really am all for this one. That just means we're getting much quicker eliminations. Gain more attack speed, 2.7 per second. Also, dashes and cooldowns are going to be reduced by a further 15%. They're at almost half the speed they were, or they're going twice as quick. Okay, we're going to permanently raise our attack speed by 40%. We're going to have less precise shots, but I'm not a very precise person. I'm more of a numbers guy. Crits are going up by another 100%. Critical damage is now 450%. That's going to pair really nicely with my whole spray and pray method we've adopted. There's so many good choices, it's a good problem to have. We're going to take another 15% off our cooldowns. So we went from 56 to 48. So our things are going over twice as quick. That includes our dashes. I'm actually really embarrassed to say this, but I think we're actually doing a fairly well-balanced run so far. Since these are all fairly boring upgrades, we're going to reroll those and get more fairly boring upgrades. We'll just take more damage. 125 base damage. We started at 50. Okay, I'm going to take 5% crit chance. When I get a gray upgrade, it might as well be for crit chance. Now roughly 1 in 5 is a crit. Otherwise known as 1 in 5 is instant death. 562 damage on whatever that was. Probably going to need to add more health to myself. But we're also going to take 100% more crit damage. 550% crits. That cactus almost rolled me. And now a giant tomato is attacking us. So I have to focus a little bit of attention on him. Because he will get annoying as well. Luckily a few good hits and he pretty much insta-died. We're going to get 10% more experience from future and past coins. We got so much we already leveled ourselves up again. So my cooldowns are at 40% of what they used to be. We're doing things way quicker. We don't really have a lot yet but we'll build some eventually. And these dashes will eventually heal me and add damage to myself so we're in a good place. We're going to gain a lot more damage 125 to 145. That's uh, not factoring in crits which are going to be huge. Turns out 15% extra enemies is actually quite a lot. Like we're already <laughs> being overrun. We're already fighting the first sheriff so I went ahead and picked up one of these. We're going to take an extra 7% crit chance. That's going to put us up to 24. So 1 in 4 is roughly a crit. I'm going to get greedy and grab these. And then we're going to fight this uh, three-headed dog thing. Who's going to employ an interesting strategy of waddling slowly toward me. I didn't realize till now I only had two health points. Uh, so this might actually be <laughs> not as much of a balanced run as I thought it was. I know, shocking. I miscalculated uh, every thing and everything. Uh, when I do land the crits on these guys though, they do die quickly. We just can't get into a bad spot like that. And the little ones, yeah, they only fire three of me. So if I just sit there and fire on them for a second, they don't last long. Okay, this is what got this thing dead. I think we had some penetrating shots there. Hit it. We'll take out some little dogs for a sec. Oh, they're going to respawn. Okay, big dogs dead. Every two meters, load your next shot with two more projectiles. That's a legendary upgrade. But so now when we fire, whoops, we're going to fire a lot more. I thought that would insta-kill them, but it did not. I guess the projectiles actually have to hit something to do damage. Who knew? But that's going to be good because a lot of times I have to move around a little bit before I can fire anyway. So that's just going to, you know, clear the crowd. I'm going to take maximum health up by two just to be sure we don't embarrass ourselves any more than we normally do. Speaking of which, I read the comments on the last two videos and it turns out I'm overlooking a lot of things. Forget exactly what already. So 
I'm sure we'll get more of those comments on this video. I really just feel like there's never enough damage. No matter what we do, we upgrade our damage, I feel like enemies just get stronger to compensate. We are doing 800 damage on crits, which is pretty good, but they're not dying instantly. But I did this here, legendary upgrade show up, your projectiles bounce one more time. I know I haven't loved this in the past, but it's a legendary upgrade and we're firing so many projectiles like this that that might actually really work well this time around. I do also not really pay attention to where the projectiles go once they're like not doing anything. So that might actually be the best of all upgrades and that's what everyone gets mad at me for. I also just realized now I was reading my health backwards. I don't know why I thought my dashes were health. It's clearly been a long day. But I have 7 health so I feel a lot tankier than I thought I was. So I'm going to play a lot more liberally we'll call it. And we're once again being attacked by a witch with knife hands. I've sort of developed a bad habit suddenly of making them all pull up like that so I can attack them all at once. I don't know why I do these things. 5% extra crit chance, we're at almost a 1 in 3 chance of crits, which is big, big damage. I get so distracted doing I don't know what that I forgot there was a treasure chest on the ground. Permanently augments your damage by 20%. Projectiles are 30% slower, but they're still at least 10% faster than they were by default. So our damage went up quite a bit, and I think we're maybe about to do a little more damage. Critical to 100% more, 650% crits. So the more we upgrade our damage now, the more that's going to multiply. Permanently augments your damage by 30%, we lose 20% attack speed. I killed the Ninja Turtles, so from that we're going to take all sorts of good stuff. You have a 5% crit chance for each ready to use stack of dashes. Okay, we now have 3 stacks of dashes, so when they're full we have an extra 15% crit chance. I'm actually going to reduce the cooldowns again by another 15%. Obviously it's not going to be nearly as dramatic as the first ones were, but we're up to 36% of the original one's time. And I know eventually those are going to pair with some really cool stuff, but already our dashes are replenishing like no time at all. They take a second there, but already that dash is back. And the more dashes we have now, the more crit chance we have. So we could just stack dashes and literally have 100% crit chance just on that. I'm going to get one more bouncing projectile as well. It never hurts to have these things bounce. They're going to bounce around, especially at the end when we have hordes of enemies. That's going to do wonders for the frame rate. Okay, we're being attacked by a bison at this point as well. That's fine, as long as you're not immediately in his way, he will do little to no damage at all. There's so many red and blue coins on the ground. We're getting it so much experience. We'll also get some shots on him. Once we landed a crit like that, he took a big chunk. Uh, there's my attack speed I've been missing. Went from three to three and a half per second. We'll get a few more shots on our buffalo thing and he should die right now. Your projectiles bounce two more times. Projectiles that bounce now do so in the opposite direction. So now they're going to sort of protect me because there'll be enemies pretty much on all sides of me now. So now they're going to hit enemies everywhere. And this actually works surprisingly well. Like I hardly have to move now and we're already taking everyone out. And it's time to fight our next idiot, Ruthless Ruth. Okay, Ruth is going to chase us around while we slowly fire at her. Uh, we're going to take 75% extra crit damage. That's up to 725 already, so that's feeling pretty good. Now we just don't touch any of the red zones and we're going to be fine. Luckily, we don't really have a range on our attack, so we can stay way far away and still do plenty of damage. We're not that accurate, but Ruth there is pretty big. Long story short, we're going to murder Ruth very soon. She's running very low on health, and I've just been employing the same strategy. Just take a step away and sit over here and murder her. At which point, she's going to give me her treasure. Okay, we're going to turn ourselves into a machine gun, shoot four times faster, but deal three times less damage. This is worth it. Don't worry. Considering how many crits we're doing, uh, uh, these are going to be all crits, like these are doing 550 damage anyway, which is a lot when you're firing this quickly. Especially if we can find some chance on hits at this point, because chance on hits are going to go off often, and our things are going to regenerate, and our crit chance is going to get really high. Our crit chance is already 44%, so it already is high. And it's going to go higher. An extra 7% crit chance is 51% chance of dealing a crit. How many arrows we're firing, we're always doing crits. We'll just ask this magic snake. If it can even get close to us. Okay, there's three projectiles it's going to fire. Okay, we're just going to sit here rapid fire on it. So projectiles will bounce off it and murder everything anyway. It can actually get pretty close to us. But once we actually land our very inaccurate shots on it, he dies. Your projectiles bounce off the edge of the screen. We lose 30% attack speed, but you know what? That's okay, because our projectiles are going to last forever now. They're going to bounce and pierce and bounce and pierce, and they're not going anywhere. So I'm again at that point where I can kind of just hold still, because nothing can survive long enough to really get to me. I'm just saying yes to all the upgrades really so far, and I'm building what the game wants me to build. Do we need an extra bounce? Maybe we do. Maybe we'll just have the bounciest bullets in the world. They just won't stop, because they'll continually hit enemies eventually. They won't uh, disappear off the edge of the screen. They will hit more enemies and continue to bounce. Okay, this guy's getting annoying. I keep thinking he's gonna die, and then he doesn't, and then he hits me. That's completely my fault. It's just annoying. Before you dash, take one damage, but permanently gain five default damage. Has no effect when I have one health left. I'm also gonna gain plus two dashes right now, because that's gonna be a 10% crit chance, so up to 60% crit chance. 
But my base damage is 75 right now. If I go like this, it becomes 78. I think you can all see where we're going with this. We dash into a heart, we put our health back. We dash into a heart, we put our health back. I shouldn't do that very often. I think there's a cooldown on that, but we're up to 83 base damage and all I had to do was take two damage. Your shots pierce through one more enemy. Uh, let's raise the AoE and pick up range by 40% instead. We don't really need extra piercing. Our bullets bounce a lot anyway. Like I don't know if they're really conceivably going to be able to hit any more idiots. I don't really know, but we had another legendary upgrade available. So either way, we're not doing too bad. Now we're going to fight whatever this thing is. As long as our shots aren't too inaccurate, we should murder it fairly quickly. And it's going to give us a chest full of goodies as well. When one of your dash slots is ready, create a burst that does 100% damage in an area around you. We're going to be dashing a lot, so that's really going to play into us well. I'm going to raise my maximum health by one. I just sort of had a realization it's upcoming, so we're going to need a little bit of health to kind of cope with this. I can't remember if the blue or green coins are worth more, so I'm not really sure which one I'm supposed to be picking up right now. The enemies seem to be dropping green, so I'm assuming it's them. There's also purple coins that I think are even better, so maybe I'll focus on them instead. I'm getting in another two dashes, believe it or not. Now it's going to give us a 76% crit chance as long as it's full. And that's really just going to make a bigger damage output, because we're firing a lot of arrows already, and they're doing 622 damage, basically every one of them. The downside of this build is the arrows bounce around and kill enemies like way far away from you, so you have to walk to the edge of the map, and you're constantly leaving experience behind. Now we're fighting the devil. Luckily, um, he's not too tough. He's pretty quick, which is annoying, but we fire so many arrows, we just have to stop for a second and we absolutely unleash a ton of damage on him. Then he dies and we'll pick up his beautiful chest. Heal for one after you dash. Gain one dash, we have a 30 second base dash cooldown, but that's reduced by about 73%. So now we go like that, we gain five damage, but we don't lose any health. Our AoE and pickup range is going up by 40%, so as soon as we get some actual AoE going, this is going to get stupid. It's already bordering that, we're up to 91 damage at this point. And I'm glad I got the heal when dashing thing, because we're going to fight a boss soon where I'm going to need to dash a lot. And if I didn't have heal while dashing, I would have quickly brought myself down to 1 HP and then I would have died. The really heartbreaking part about that is that I would have had to restart the video and you guys would never have seen this entire run. And look at that, the sheriff is coming in right now, so that was good timing. What we're going to do is just gain a lot more attack speed. We're currently firing 9.88 per second, now we're firing about 12 per second. Okay, the health of this thing is going quickly. Oh, that's our dash doing its thing. But we're healing while we're doing that anyway. We're just gaining damage. I just remember, need to remember to actually get out of its way. Can I just walk out of the way of this? Yeah, I sure can. No dash necessary. We're doing enough damage now that we're sort of just melting this anyway. And then our arrows, even the ones we missed, they come back for round two. Okay, phase one of the idiot's dead. Now his horses left him, like everyone else in his life. Right, it's the ball thing. I always forget about this part. This is where all that attack speed comes in handy too, because I don't really have to, uh... Stop for that long to get a lot of damage off. I do wish we were just a little more accurate, but if I sit really close, it's hard to miss. This thing's already lost 30% of its health, but now we're gonna have to dodge some balls. They're known as the Undertaker, but we're murdering them. I think I got hit there, might have got hit there. They also have that multi-shot problem that I have so much, where you fire two shots, but they actually don't go towards what you're shooting at. So I empathize with its problem, and we're going back to the ball thing. Very predictable, but it's almost dead. In fact, it is now dead. That was easy. Deal your raw damage is an area effect each time your projectiles increase a critical strike. Maximum 3 explosions per projectile, but given that we currently have a 61% crit chance and that's going to go up, that's going to be a lot of explosions and not only that, a lot of big explosions thanks to our extra AoE. Our AoE is 250% currently, so that's going to work well. And that's based on my damage, which is perpetually going to go up because every time I do that, we gain 5 damage. This is actually shaped up into a really beautiful, cool run. I wasn't sure where we were going with it, but I never do. Eventually, we get to where we're going simply because I just have way too much time on my hands. Your crits deal 100% more damage. Yes, that's a big extra damage for us. They're already back up over a thousand. Look how fast we're firing. Just ask this hairless werewolf. Lots of big purple thousand damages going out and they're dead. A pistol ring consistently spirals around you and inflicts damage and shoots as well. So it's going to soak around me doing a lot of damage. It's just going to help sort of thin things out. I need to remember to keep dashing once in a while to keep the damage going up. 125 is fun and all, but 127 is better. And I guess the things that uh, make me shoot faster knock my damage down. Ooh, area effect is going up by further 40%. So those explosions that are going off a lot, they're getting bigger and bigger. And every time we do this, they get more powerful. Each one of these adds three damage. So we do it again, we do it again, we do it again, we do it again, we do it again. They're up to 146 damage. That put the crits up 20%. They're up to 1200 damage. And keep in mind those crits are explosive, so they're doing giant AoE to everything around them. Your projectiles slow down any enemies they touch for 70%. I guess we'll just take another 30% AoE. We're up to 320% AoE size now. 
and there's a lot of explosions. I know we can't see them, but they're there. Uh, I've turned the explosions on for a second just to show you what it looks like. I'm going to turn that off because that's annoying and a lot of flashing lights, but just so you get the idea. I remember now why I turned them off. Another 30% AoE, so up to 350% AoE explosion size. Think I see another mini boss. Yep, I sure do. We're going to put a lot of damage into that thing. It's actually fairly tough considering how fast we're shooting, but it gave us a treasure chest. I'm going to re-roll these because they're not that exciting. Drops a dynamite before each dash. It explodes. We're going to get one dash. That one dash, of course, is another 5% crit chance, which just means a lot of extra explosions. Especially once my dashes do finally respawn, the game is starting to slow down. Crits deal 75% more damage. Legendary damage is tempting, but we can just build that by dashing. Our crits are up to 900%, so they just went up to 1300 and something. 1300 and something explosions damage. A lot of exploding damage. The game is already lagging pretty hard thanks to all the bullets uh, bouncing off things. Another mini boss died. We get four rerolls for upgrade choices. That's just going to help us be a little bit more efficient moving forward. We're going to reduce the cooldowns again by 15%, so 30%. The dashes come back in 30% of the time they used to, so that's much, much quicker. And that definitely means I can do this much quicker, and we're going to put the dashes back. Our crit chance is currently 81. Once that last one goes back, it'll be 86%. That's an A. It's the first A I've ever seen in my life. It's so lakey already. This is going to be great. Well, since I got four rerolls choices, we might as well see what else we can get. I guess 75% more crit damage isn't going to hurt. The game did not like that very much, but now we're doing 1450 damage. We're going to get four rerolls for object choices, which is uh, these things. So when we get things out of our chest now, we're hopefully going to have more better choices. Yeah, 86% crit chance. They're doing 1450 damage each, and that does cause an explosion that deals all that damage. So good. Then we're going to gain much more attack speed. We're going from 12 per second to 15 per second. That's actually huge. I need more attack speed. We're just going to stack attack speed from now on. Because the more arrows we can go out, the more the game's going to suffer. And that's really what I'm here to do. That was a big explosion. Oh, that was my dash recharging, maybe. I don't know what that one was. There's a lot of things happening that I don't understand. But that's pretty much a perfect metaphor for my life. Some giant explosion just went off and like wiped everything on the map. I just tanked out on purpose. Okay, we're going to re-roll these. The onion damage could be interesting. Our damage isn't super high though. Uh, you can never have too much onion power though because that's going to be a big ore and that's just going to help keep me a little bit alive because that's going to go off quite often. So just when those annoying enemies get close, I don't really have to worry about them hitting me. Okay, if we could do a little bit of attack speed, that adds an extra two arrows per second. Just a little bit is two arrows per second. This is going to get fun. The game is probably not going to last too much, 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 much longer. So enjoy this while we got, got it. It's getting really, really hard to see and play, but we got a treasure chest. You shoot behind you. We just doubled our damage output. And game lag. Yeah, that's awfully laggy. We'll continue to stack our damage. I think I just rolled into an explosion. Uh, we're now up to 170 seven damage plus we're gonna do 100% more crit damage so those are up to 2000 am I seeing that right 1970 something the game is loving this absolutely loving it so let's do a dash or two and get some damage up uh there is a, a sheriff deputy whatever coming in so I'm gonna try and just move it's really hard to play right now because it's I don't know if like what's already dead or not I'm kind of trying to predict the future for a moment okay we're gonna go ahead and focus on this deputy for a second we're fine but I can't see what's happening we need more attack speed up to 17 and a quarter per second i gotta get it i can't i don't know what's happening anymore this is uh this is kind of breaking things now we're killing a lot of enemies though i just i don't know where i need to stand to be safe or not so if we triple our shot but reduce our attack speed by 40 percent, is that a good or a bad choice let's say it's good because of how much the arrows bounce i think we're clearing room for ourselves it's very hard to tell uh, our attack speed, like, we're technically firing more arrows now. I just realized to have used all my dashes, so I don't have any crits right now. Well, I got one and three, so we're just gonna have to go for a little walk. Come on, morons, this way. Okay, I maybe shouldn't get too far away from my health I dropped on the ground also. It was a mistake coming over here. I wish I could see a single thing going on. We're gonna gain a little bit more attack speed, because that's gonna help. We're still doing 11 arrows per second. Okay, give me these hearts. We're gonna need these for a sec. I should have used all my dashes when I did. But now that we have just a little bit of room, we're gonna fire around for a sec and create just a little bit of space. We need to move and fire, move and fire, rinse, repeat. Uh, yeah, when the enemies get close, the game lags so hard that I don't really know if I'm in a safe spot or not anymore. I'm in danger. I'm just constantly in danger. Like that, like, am I safe? Should I move? I don't know what's happening. Okay, we're gonna re-roll these, hoping for something that's gonna save us. For each current health, get 10% damage when we move 5 per deal. That almost doubled our damage. We're gonna be bigger and slower, but our damage, we're doing like 3,000 crits. <laughs> 
And we're doing a lot of those. So that made bigger arrows, bigger explosions. That actually made a really big difference for us. Every one meter deals 30% of your damage to enemies in an area around you. I bet that's really big because we have a really big AoE. And us ourselves are very big. We're going to uh, take 10% off our dash cooldowns again. The quicker those dashes come back, the better because we'll put our crits back on and add damage to ourselves. But those last few upgrades really seem to put me over the top because suddenly I'm not really worried about dying. I'm just sitting right here laughing. I killed another moron deals damage in the area around you after you dash. So we do damage before and after a dash and when they recharge. But that also added a dash for an extra 5% crit chance. I'm going to take just a little walk to pick up some of the stuff on the ground. Uh, we do still have our onion aura plus that other one. So when we walk around, we do extra damage that way gain plus two dashes yeah why not so we are 96 percent crit chance once that last dash fills in we're going to have 100 percent crit chance there it is 100 percent crits so now i'm just gonna dash every once in a while that's gonna add three damage once that recharges we're gonna dash again and add another three damage every time you move two meters lightning strikes a random enemy and that does a little bit of aoe uh which means it's a really big aoe because we do really big aoe things there's just a lot of arrows on the screen now and they're really big so they're hitting everything okay we're gonna gain more attack speed that gave us a full extra arrow per second. We're going to gain 100% more critical damage. We're up to 1200% crits. They're not quite at 5000 yet, but they probably will be soon. Shoot an orbiting projectile regularly. Cool down 4 seconds, which is actually 70% less than that. So the cooldown's about 1 second. So we're going to have circular arrows going around. There's just a lot going on now. A few minutes later, we've also introduced big blue bullets to the equation. So the game is extra loving this. And I've officially pushed my base damage over 500 base damage. So now all of our critical hits are dealing about 6,000 damage and the game is loving this. The big bullets are dealing a lot more. I think I saw 18,000 damage. So DPS I think is literally in the millions at this point. Just gas this mini boss who's about to try and approach us. I'm not going to move. I'm just going to sort of let the game play out because moving is making it lag even worse. He got a little bit close and he got evaporated. This is getting hard to see what's happening. There is a mini boss right in front of me. There at least was. And our first piercing shot now targets the closest enemy. So no, the arrows are heat seeking. They're going to find the first enemy. I'm not sure it matters because all the arrows pretty much hit everything always all at once. And this is what we created. The game is basically unplayable at this point. It's going like a frame every half a second. So I'm just kind of doing this and hoping I survive. But I think we accomplished in breaking the game today. So let's move on to the next bright idea. 